Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a strength building flow. It's quite strong, but it can be adapted for all levels. If you like these classes, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about individualized programs, rehab programs, yoga programs, please head over to my Instagram or over to my website. We're going to start today in a comfortable cross-legged position with the palms up and the eyes closed. Turn the palms up towards the sky, close the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale, elongate through the spine. And then exhale through the mouth, feel the shoulders drop away from the ears. One more like that, inhale, gather more length through the spine, stack the shoulders over the hips. And then as you exhale, keep the length but release any residual tension. Start to breathe in and out through the nose, maybe inviting in Ujjayi Pranayama. And then turn the hands, palms down onto the knees. We're going to take some circles. So as you exhale, start to roll to the back of your pelvis, coming onto the sacrum. And then start to shift your weight over to the left. As you inhale, lean forward, scoop the torso forward over to the right. And then as you exhale, circle yourself back around, curving through the spine. And then inhale as you shift over to the left, shine the chest forward. And then exhale, round the spine, roll onto the sacrum. Take a few more like this. Try and keep the knees grounding down, the pelvis grounding down. It's easier said than done. And if you want to speed it up, you can. And on your next journey through center, you're just going to reverse the movement. So this time you're coming back to the left, rounding out, and then shining the chest forward as you come through to the right. And take three more in this direction. You can speed it up if you want to. make your way to a tall neutral spine. Take the hands behind you, change the interlace of the feet and then you're going to take your hands around your front shin and we're going to do, a, it's called camel ride, so it's like cat cow and sitting. As you inhale, shine the chest forward, rock the pelvis forward and then as you exhale, hollow out the belly, think of scooping the tail underneath you, chin can come to chest. Inhale, articulate through the spine, Think of the back body moving to the front body as you shine the chest up. And then exhale, round the shoulder blades, round the spine, scoop the belly. Take three more like this, working into any areas of tension. make your way back to a neutral spine. Inhale, take the hands forward and start to reach them up and overhead. Only reach so far that you can keep the connection between the ribs and the hips. Don't overarch the lower back or puff the chest forward. Inhale, reach the hands a little taller, gather length through the side body. And then as you exhale, take the right hand down, sweep the left arm over for a side stretch. Inhale, ground through both sit bones, bring the hands through center. And as you exhale, take it over to the left, reaching the right arm long. Inhale, bring it back through center. And this time as you exhale, twist left hand, right knee. Inhale, sweep it through center. And then exhale, twist right hand, left knee. Inhale, through center. And as you exhale, you're going to plant the hands down, cross over the shins, come into all fours. Take five rounds of cat-cow, inhaling, dropping the belly, reaching the sternum forward. And then as you exhale, pressing the floor away, rounding the spine. Take four more at the pace of your own breath.
and then come into a neutral spine. Press down through the tops of the feet. Inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. And then as you exhale, round the spine, press the knees off the floor, pressing into the tops of the feet for a hovering cat. Draw the outer ankles towards each other so that the feet don't flip flop. On your next inhale, drop the knees, cow belly. And we'll do it to the breath. Exhale, press the tops of the feet, lift the knees, hovering cat. Inhale, cow belly. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. This time, tuck the toes under, and as you exhale, round into cat, hover the knees. Slightly different muscle activation. Inhale, cow belly. Four more of those. Exhale, round the spine, hover the knees with the toes tucked. Inhale. Three more at your own pace. You should really feel the belly warming up, the legs warming up, the shoulders warming up. And take one more. And then set the knees down. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. Exhale, extend the left leg behind you. Hug the right hip under and gently lift the left hip up so that the pelvis stays even. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, round knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Listen for the change. Exhale, sweep the arm and the leg off to the side. Try and keep the pelvis and the chest even. Inhale, take it forward. Exhale to the side. Inhale, forward. Exhale to the side. Inhale forward and then exhale, bend the left leg, reach back for the foot with the right hand and then kick the foot into the hand, opening up the right shoulder. On your next inhale, extend everything long and then exhale, bring it to the floor. Inhale, take the left arm forward, exhale, take the right leg back. Take an inhale to hug the left hip in, draw the right hip up. And then exhale, round knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, arm and leg to the side. Try and keep them the height of the hip and the shoulder. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, neutral. Last one. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, neutral, and then exhale, bend the right leg, reach back with the left hand, kick the foot into the hand. Inhale, release, exhale, set it down. Now we're going to combine the two. So keep a neutral spine, tuck the toes under, take an inhale here, and then as you exhale, you're just going to hover the knees just an inch or so off the mat. The knees are under the hips, the shoulders under the, um, the wrists under the shoulders. Take an inhale, straighten the right leg behind you. And then as you exhale, bring it back to hovering cat. Keep the pelvis neutral. Inhale, take the left leg behind you. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. Exhale, bring it in. Try and keep as even as you can, it's not easy. Inhale, take the left arm forward. Exhale, bring it in. On your next inhale, drop the knees, cow belly. And then as you exhale, come back to a neutral spine, hover the knees, and we'll add the arm and the leg. As you inhale, sweep the right arm forward, the left leg back, hovering cat. You can always drop the knee if it's too much. Exhale, round knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale round, inhale lengthen, exhale hovering cat, drop the knees, inhale cow belly, and then exhale neutral spine back to your hovering cat, we'll do the other side, inhale sweep the left arm forward, exhale take the right leg back, take an inhale, and then exhale round it out, knee to elbow, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale everything long, exhale hovering cat, inhale drop the knees cow belly, and then exhale send the hips back downward facing dog, lengthen your stance if you need to, pedal out the feet, wiggle the hips, Slow the breath down. And then bend deeply through the knees. Send the hips back towards the back of the mat, lengthening as much as you can through the side body and through the arms. And then think of the heels descending towards the floor as the knees stay bent, the hips reach to the sky. Hugging the outer ankles in. See if you can sink a little lower towards the heels. And then look forward, keep the knees hovering. You're gonna ripple the spine forward, come into plank, inhale. And then exhale, bend the knees, come back through that hover, straighten the legs downward dog. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels, ripple the spine forward to plank. Inhale here. And then exhale, bend the knees, send the hips back and then up to downward dog. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, ripple the spine forward. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels and then send the hips up. One more like that, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, ripple forward. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, send the hips back and then up to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up behind you, and then as you exhale, open the hip. Draw the right shoulder back in line with the left, and see how low you can get your chest to the floor. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, shift forward, knee to elbow. Inhale, take it back, open the hip. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose, keep the hips low. Inhale, take it back, open the hip. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross it over, hold. See if you can square the collarbones to the floor. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest. And then step the foot up by the thumb, drop the back heel, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Think of rebounding the torso out of the pelvis as you sink the hips low, but press the floor away so that you don't just dump into the lower back. And take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the hands to heart center, twist the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Draw the thumbs to the sternum, left ribs to the right. And then unwind, and as you inhale, straighten the right leg, coming into Ardha Hanumanasana. Send the sternum forward, draw the right hip back. And you can stay with the hips hovering or you can sit the heel, the hip to the heel, whatever is the most comfortable in your body. And then crawl yourself forward, untuck the back knee, inhale, shine the chest forward. And then exhale, step it back to plank. We're going to hold this plank for five breaths. Make sure the wrists are underneath the shoulders. Fire up through the tops of the legs and the lower belly, sending the crown of the head and the tail in opposite directions. 
If this is too much, you can always drop to your knees. And take one more inhale. And this time as you exhale, you're just gonna bend both knees, tap them to the floor. Inhale, plank. Four more like that. Exhale, just hover the knees. Inhale them back up. And go at the pace of your own breath. You should feel the lower belly really starting to engage. Don't let the shoulders creep up by the ears. And then on your inhale, shift forward. Exhale, hug the elbows close, drop the knees if you need to. We're coming into Chaturanga and we're gonna hold for five breaths. Keep the collarbones wide, the ears away from the shoulders, and everything else is just like plank. And exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, press the feet, press the pubic bone as you peel the chest up for cobra. Exhale, roll it down. Two more like that. Possibly the most annoying tradition in Puerto Rico. And this time, take your hands back underneath your elbows. Inhale, peel up Cobra, or straighten the arms, lift the knees, upward facing dog. As you exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, open the hips, stretch it out. Draw the left shoulder down in line with the right, send the right heel to the floor. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, shift forward, knee to elbow. Inhale, take it back, open the hip. Exhale, knee to chest, keep the hips low. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cross it over and hold. Square the collarbones to the front of the mat. Draw the, uh, draw the knee to centre on an exhale. And then step the left foot by the left thumb. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, twist over towards the left, hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, draw the sternum to the thumbs, and the right ribs to the left. unwind it. Inhale, send the hips back, straighten through the left leg. Draw the left hip back, send the sternum forward. You can always sit the hips back if you prefer. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lift the back knee. Inhale, reach the sternum forward, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose. This time, bring the feet together, roll to the outside edge of the right foot, Vashisthasana. You can drop the bottom knee or you can stagger the feet. Wherever you are, I want you to think of the left hip drawing forward slightly to stack on top of the right and lengthen through the spine as if you're leaning up against a wall. One more breath, and then exhale, take it through plank, rotate it straight to the other side, coming to the outside edge of the left foot, gently drawing the right hip forward as you extend the torso long, 
without puffing the hip, uh, without puffing the ribs. Sorry. There's a difference between length and just overextending the lower back. You want to think of the tailbone and the head moving in opposite directions. Take one more breath and then exhale, take it to plank. Inhale, shift yourself forward. Exhale, we're going back into that chaturanga hover. Drop the knees if you need to. And then drop yourself all the way to the floor. Take the hands behind you, palms face up. Press down through the feet and the tops of the hands. Inhale, peel the shoulder heads away, peel the chest away, Shalabhasana. On your next exhale, maybe float the legs up. Think of stretching them long, inner thighs rolling towards the ceiling. Glutes are engaged but not gripping. And you could stay here or on your next exhale, think of the hands reaching for the feet, sliding the shoulder blades down the back as you lift them up off the mat. The hands off the mat, not the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. And then slide the hands back underneath the elbows, hug the elbows in, plant the hands, inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, inhale, chair pose. And exhale, sink the hips a little lower. Make sure you can see your toes. Think of the frontal hip points lifting up off the thighs. Take three more breaths. And then exhale, plant the hands, keep the knees bent, step walk or float back to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, open the knee. Exhale, tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, open the hip. Exhale, cross right knee, left elbow. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, this time step it through. Set yourself up for warrior one, heel to heel alignment. Draw the right hip back and under. Inhale, warrior one. Collarbones and ribs will probably be able to work towards the front of the mat. And we aim on drawing the right hip back, the left hip forward, as you extend length through the torso, sink deep in through the front knee. And take about four more breaths here. Keep grounding through both feet, relaxing the toes. Here you're going to release to standing split so take the hands to the front of the mat pop off the back foot and then come into standing split on the right you can keep the hands on the floor or you can take the right hand behind the right calf or maybe even hovering the left hand off around the right ankle wherever you are think of drawing the right hip back all five toes of the left foot point to the floor And then as you exhale, you're going to come all the way into a single leg chair on the right. So bend through the right leg and then you can either draw the left knee into the chest or you can extend it out in front of you, whatever works the best in your body. Start with the hands at heart center and then inhale the hands up. Try to keep that right knee from collapsing in towards the midline. 
take one more breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to come back into your standing split. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot back. Set yourself up for crescent. Hip, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Crescent lunge. Again, gently draw that right hip back and hug it underneath you as you grow tall through the side body. Shoulders over hips, tailbone descending. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen. And this time as you exhale, straighten out the front leg. Come into extended pyramid pose. The back heel is lifting, but it's descending towards the floor. The hands can be on the fingertips, palms down, or take the hands to blocks. Take an inhale, bend through the right knee, come into a low lunge. Plant the hands, exhale, option single leg plank. Take an inhale here, exhale, one more inhale, optional, one-legged, exhale, chaturanga, and we hold for five. And then plant both the feet, inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, open the hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, cross. Inhale to open. Exhale, knee to chest. And then step it through. Set yourself up for warrior one on this side, heel to heel, back foot turning in. And then inhale, raise all the way up. Set up those alignment points on this side and then see if you can bend a little deeper. Notice if your mind wanders, bring it back to your breath, to the present moment. Take two more breaths. Inhale, extend. And then exhale, standing split. Again, you can keep the hands on the floor. Take the left hand behind the left calf. Take the right hand to the left ankle. Could be up on blocks here if you need to. And then our release is standing single leg chair. So start to bend the left leg, bring the right knee through, either knee to chest or extend the leg out in front of you, whatever's the best for your balance. Hands at heart center. And then as you inhale, extend the arms forward. Sink the weight into the heel. Try and keep the knee facing forward. Stay calm. And then bring the hands to heart center. Start to step yourself back into standing split. Take an inhale. And then exhale, step the right leg back, set up for crescent lunge. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, sink a little lower, but again, fire up the legs so that you've got that support in the pelvis and you're not just dumping into the lower back and hips. Left hip draws back and hugs in. Three more breaths, relax the jaw. And 
and then exhale, plant the hands down, step it back, optional single-legged plank. You can always have both feet down or be on your knees. And in your next inhale, option for single leg, exhale, drop down, chaturanga hold. And then lower all the way to the belly. So if you start to bunch up through the shoulders or splay the elbows in those chaturanga holds, drop to your knees. Set yourself up with your fingers off to the side of the mat. Um, sorry, hands off to the side of the mat. Tent up onto the fingers, elbows up to the ceiling. Inhale, peel up wide-armed cobra. Exhale, roll it down. Two more. See if you can peel up a little higher on your inhale. And then exhale, think of segmentally slowly rolling it down. Last one. Inhale, roll the chest up. And then exhale, peel it down. This time, roll up, inhale. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, twist to the left. Inhale, roll up through center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, peel to the right. One more each side. And then inhale, come up high through center. And then as you exhale, press strongly through the feet and down through the pubic bone. Keep as much height as you can and just float the arms off to capital T. Hold for three more breaths. Strongly press the feet down. And then maybe float the feet up. Again, not gripping the glutes, lengthening the lower back. See if you can lift a little higher. Draw the shoulders down the back. Take three more breaths here. Relax the neck. And on your next exhale, plant the hands by the lower ribs. Press the feet into the ground. Up dog cobra on your inhale. And then exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. Look towards the front of the mat. Step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. And this time as you exhale, raise up onto the toes for balance chair. We'll hold here for a few breaths. If you want to challenge your balance more, on your inhales, you can sweep the arms forward and then exhale, sweep the arms back. We're going to take three more breaths wherever you're at. Last breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up, come all the way to standing, stay on the toes. And then exhale, stay on the toes, start to swan dive forward, maybe bend your knees if you need to. Still on the toes, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, drop the, toe, or drop the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, open the hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, open the hip. Exhale, this time hovering fallen triangle. So cross the knee, extend the leg, sweep the left arm up. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back, three-legged dog, open the hip. Inhale here, exhale, knee to nose, step it through, this time centre the foot, line yourself up, heel to arch, inhale, cartwheel the arms up, warrior two, and in your warrior two, we're going to take a bind, so reach the right arm up and overhead, and pat the back of the shoulder, 
You might stay here, taking the left hand to the top of the right shoulder, or you might come into Gomukhasana arms, reaching the left arm underneath for the, for the bind. Your chest is working towards the long end of the mat, and you're sinking deeply into the front leg, making sure that that front knee isn't collapsing in. I went diving earlier today and now I have the sniffles. I apologize. Keep the bind or release it. Inhale, come into a reverse warrior. And then as you exhale, we're gonna make our way into a bound warrior three. So keep the bind, rotate onto the left toes and then start to hinge forward slowly with control, coming to balance on the right leg. The right hip draws back and the left hip draws down slightly. All five toes point to the floor. If this is too much, you can always release the bind. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to step back to a bound crescent. So step the left leg back in line with the hip and take a few breaths here. So there's a lot of work on the shoulders, a lot of strength in the legs. And try not to over arch through the spine here. On an inhale, sweep the arms up, release. You might need to give it a little bit of a shake. And then exhale, plant the hands down. Option for a single leg, inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, open the hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, this time cross for floating fallen triangle. You can always set the foot down if it's too much. Inhale. Exhale, take it back, sweep the leg up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it forward and then step it through for warrior two. Get your alignment and then cartwheel your way up. Set up your foundation and then reach the left arm up and overhead, reaching the right arm underneath for the fingers, a strap, your t-shirt. Then working the chest towards the right side of your mat and thinking of where your wrists are, think of extending from there as opposed to overextending through the lower back. Sink a little lower if you can. Two more breaths. And then with or without the bind, inhale, reach the left side of the body open to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, start to rotate onto the back toes. Shift yourself forward over the left leg and then lift the right leg up for warrior three. So you might have to release the bind at some point if it's too much and that's fine. Take two more breaths. And then you're going to step back to a bound crescent pose. We'll hold here for the last few breaths working on those alignment points we set up earlier, protecting the lower back, protecting the knees. And then on your next inhale, slowly, maybe with a little bit of a wiggle, take those arms up and above. And then exhale, take them to the floor. Option, single leg, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Up Dog Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, Halfway Lift. Exhale, Fold. Inhale, Sink for Chair. 
weight for the loud motorbike. And then as you exhale, you're going to take the hips back as you send the sternum forward. So we're in a kind of a half chair. The torso is parallel to the floor. The weight is in the heels and the arms reach forward. If it's too much with the arms forward, you can bring the hands to heart center, capital T, or reach them behind you. On an inhale, reach the arms forward, turn the palms down, and as you exhale, you're just gonna draw the elbows back towards the ribs in a cactus position. Inhale, reach them forward. Exhale, draw it in. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Neck stays long and relaxed. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. And then lower all the way to the belly. Interlace the fingers behind you on the lower back. And then as you inhale, press the feet and the pubic bone into the floor as you send the fists back towards the heels. As you do so, think of lengthening the skin or the flesh of your glutes and your lower back towards your toes. You could stay here, peeling the shoulder heads away from the mat. Or on your next exhale, maybe float the legs up. Glutes are engaged but not clenching, lengthening through the neck and the lower back. And you can stay with your hands on your lower back or you can start to float them up as long as you don't bunch your shoulders by your ears to do so. And for the last three breaths, you could stay here or you could start to bend the knees drawing the heels towards the bum, the soles of the feet towards the ceiling. Reach the fists back for the feet. And then exhale, plant the hands by the lower ribs. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, open the hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. This time we're going to hold. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop the knee to the wrist. Inhale to the elbow. Exhale to the wrist. Inhale to the elbow. One more. Exhale to the wrist. Inhale to the elbow. Exhale, send it back open the hip. Inhale here. Exhale, cross it over, floating fallen triangle. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, open the hip. Exhale, step it forward. Line yourself up for warrior two again, but this time take the right hand either to the outside of the foot or the inside of the foot and open up for Pajvakonasana side angle pose. You can always be on a block, but wherever you are, make sure that right knee is directly over the ankle, not collapsing in and most of the weight is in through the feet. And take five more breaths here, see if you can relax your toes and create more length through the torso. On your next inhale, you're going to sweep the left arm up and you're going to come into a prayer squat. So turn the left foot out to the corner of the mat and sink nice and deep. Again, weight is in through the heels and make sure you're not sticking your butt out so your chest comes forward. You want to be more upright here and send the knees towards the pinky toe side of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, sink the hands for prayer. This time, inhale, sweep the arms up, keep the knees bent, but lift the heels. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center. Two more like that. Inhale, sweep the arms, lift the heels. Exhale. 
inhale, exhale. Inhale takes you to warrior two to the front of your mat. Exhale here. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Front leg is on fire. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Plant the left hand. Inhale, sweep the right arm up for an open twist. And then as you exhale, you're going to step the right foot behind the left, maybe opening up for wild thing. Toe or toes of the right foot, outside edge of the left foot. One more breath. And then as you exhale, slowly with control, option for a single leg vinyasa or however you want to make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, open the hip. Exhale, shift it forward, knee to elbow. Inhale, drop the knee to the wrist. Exhale, suck it up. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, send the hip back, open it up. Exhale, cross for floating fallen triangle. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, send it back. Inhale, open the hip. Exhale, step it through. Line up the same as warrior two. And then set your hand down for your version of side angle pose. You could also take the forearm to the thigh. But wherever you are, you're thinking of rebounding away from the floor as opposed to sinking in to the arms. Take four more breaths here. See if you can glue down the outer edge of the back foot. Spiraling the left ribs to the right and the left knee to the left. On your next inhale, lead with your right hand. Come back into the prayer squat. Turn the feet out to the 45 and then sink the hips down. Inhale, sweep the arms, raise the heels. Exhale, lower it down. This time, inhale, raise the heels, raise the arms and straighten the legs. Exhale, stay on the heels, sink it down, prayer squat. Three more. Staying on the heels, in, staying on the toes rather, inhale, straighten the legs, reach up, exhale, sink down, inhale, raise up, exhale, down, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale, release to warrior two to the front of the mat, exhale, sink in. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Option, single leg, make your way to downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, you're just going to tap the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, through center. Try and keep the knees even here. Exhale, tap right elbow, left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap left knee. Inhale, center. This time we'll hook and hold. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Sink the hips a little lower, extend the crown of the head through the midline, and then twist from the navel. Think of the left ribs rotating, but the pelvis staying even. Right. 
look down towards the feet, shift the weight to the right foot and then step the left foot back for a crescent twist. If you need to drop the knee here, feel free to do so. And if you want to take an arm variation or a bind, feel free to do so. Hug the right hip to the midline as you extend the crown of the head. And gathering length in your twists will get you the most benefit out of them. And take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to plant the hands, step the right foot back, three chaturanga push-ups, option single leg. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, exhale, lower. Inhale, plank, exhale, lower. Inhale, plank, exhale, downward dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. And we'll do the taps again. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sink the hips, sternum to thumb. Exhale, tap left elbow. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap right. Inhale, center. One more each side. I stuffed that up. Go one more to the right knee. Inhale through center. And then exhale, hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Sink the hips low. Make sure that the knees are even. If the knees are even, the pelvis is even. And then look down, shift the weight to the left, step the right leg back, coming into a crescent twist. I just remembered we forgot to do wild thing on the other side. We'll go and do that. And then look down. This time you're going to plant the right hand. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. We forgot to do this earlier. And then as you exhale, you're going to take the left leg behind you, come up onto the toes of the left foot and open up for wild thing. And then circle the left hand back down. Option single leg, three chaturanga push-ups. Last time I'll make you do this. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, plank, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, downward dog. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and then let it go through the mouth. Look forward, step, walk or float the feet to the outsides of the hands. And come into Malasana, Yogi Squat. And you could choose to hang out here or we'll take an arm balance for the practice. And we'll come into Crow Pose. Snuggle yourself down. Get the shins on the backs of the arms. Bend the elbows. And then start to shift weight forward. Lifting the toes. And maybe straightening the arms. And you can always feel free to play with single leg variations. And from here you can step, walk, float, handstand, however you want to make your way back to downward facing dog. And 
And then from here, dropping one elbow at a time or both at the same time, we're going to make our way into dolphin. So the elbows will be directly under the shoulders, the forearms are parallel. And you start to walk your feet in towards your chest, sending the chest back towards the thighs, bending the knees as much as you need. You could choose to stay here, or if you have an inversion practice, you might come into Pinchamayarasana, handstand or bound headstand, interlace the fingers, place the crown of the head to the floor, the hands cup the back of the head, and then walk the feet in slowly towards you, tuck one heel to the bum and then the other, and then slowly with control start to raise the legs. Whatever inversion you're in, we're going to stay for about six more breaths. Come down and rest in child's pose whenever you're done. If you're upside down, slowly with control, make your way back into child's pose. And take three breaths in child's pose. And keep the left arm extended. Loop the right arm underneath the left, coming to rest on the back of the right arm right ear, thread the needle. And then take the right arm forward, loop the left arm underneath the right, palm faces up. Extend both arms, make your way into a plank pose. Take an inhale here and then as you exhale, you're going to step the left leg to the outside of the left hand, drop the right knee. You could stay here extending the chest forward or take the left hand back, bend the right knee, grab the foot for a quad stretch. You could always grab a towel or a um, strap to assist you here. slowly release, plant the left hand, step back to plank, inhale, and then as you exhale, step the right leg forward, drop the left knee. Again, you could stay here or you can reach back for the incoming foot. way back to plank and then send the hips up and back downward facing dog take the hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance look beyond your hands bend the knees deeply and then step walk or float through to a seat extend the legs out in front of you about hips distance apart inhale sweep the arms up and then exhale, hinging from the hips, start to reach forward as far as you can. Hands land wherever they land. And think of reaching the sternum towards the toes to increase the stretch in through the hamstrings. And as you exhale, you're just going to roll all the way onto the back, segment by segment. And hug the knees in towards you. Cross the right, uh, cross the left ankle over the right knee. 
and then just let the knees fall towards the left. The right anchor draws, the right shoulder anchors down towards the floor. And then draw the legs in through centre, cross the right ankle over the left knee and drop it over towards the right. Drawing the left shoulder towards the floor. And then come back through centre, draw the knees in towards the chest, Curl the nose up towards the knee, squeeze everything as tight as you can, contracting every muscle in the body. And then as you exhale, release for Shavasana, taking up space. Let the palms fall towards the sky, let the legs fall open. And let go of any control of the breath. Feeling the steady beating of your heart, the natural ebb and flow and rhythm of your breathing. And releasing any residual tension that you may be holding. Please stay here for as long as you have time for today. Today, as you go forward, may you have courage in your thoughts, power in your words, and strength in your heart. Namaste.